Hello everyone and welcome to another ride overview. Today we're going to talk about the most important ride in the entire game, the toilets. You absolutely cannot go without at least one of them in your park and preferably many more. They are so important that without them your guests will go home much quicker causing you to have a lower amount of guests in your park. There are several different awards for having good rides and stalls such as the best roller coasters award. But you can get all those awards with a lot of different rides such as the wooden coaster or the looping coaster. Guess which ride has an award that only that specific ride counts for? That's right, it's the toilets. If you have at least 4 toilets in your park, at least 1 toilet per 128 guests and no more than 16 guests that are currently thinking that they have to go to the toilet, you can get the best award in the game, which is the award for the best toilets. One advantage of the toilet is that they are quite cheap compared to other stalls. All stalls cost either 200, 225, 250 or 300 euros. A few non-food stalls such as the cash machine and the balloon stall are in the cheapest category, but the toilets isn't far behind at 225 euros. In fact, because they are so important, they have been given their own unique price category as there is no other stall that costs 225 euros. Toilets are not only great for keeping guests in your park, you can also make some extra money with them. Guests will pay between 10 and 60 cents for the toilets depending on how badly they need to go. If their toilet value is just over the minimum needed for them to need to go to the bathroom, they are only willing to pay 10 cents. But if they need to go super bad, they are willing to pay up to the maximum of 60 cents. The minimum is actually 17 cents, but it is rounded down to 10. This does mean that almost every guest that needs to go to the bathroom is already willing to pay 20 cents as it reaches that very quickly. So that seems to be the ideal price to charge. Thanks to Dirklink for figuring this all out. His guide to the shop prices is in the description. You won't make a lot of money from bathrooms, but every little bit helps. Now let's see what kind of different elements the toilets have available. Since this is a stall, it's quite different from the roller coasters that I usually cover for this ride overview series. The available elements are the toilet, obviously, stalls, urinals, toilet paper, sinks, paper towel dispensers, air dryers, trash cans, and signs to designate an area as male, female, or handicapped. Before I show you the possible designs, I quickly want to go over the stat requirements for the toilet. In order to avoid getting any stat penalties, the toilets need to have at least two areas, one for women and one for men, at least two toilets per area, and at least one sink per area. If you miss any of these requirements, all its stats will be divided by two. There are two main designs for bathrooms in the game. There's the classic concrete design and there's the wooden design. They only differ in their looks, not their functions, so you can use whichever fits the best in your park. You can also make custom designs. This is a custom ride design that is very similar to the space themed entrance and exit buildings. You can also be a little more creative if you want. If you make the toilet building invisible and place a tree in the same spot, your guests will now pee against the tree. There are many more ways to make interesting toilets, but I leave that to you guys. And that is all I have to say about toilets. They are a vital part of your park and you will do well to remember to build them. If you like this video consider giving it a like and maybe even subscribe or support me on Patreon if you really want to. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.